Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of online uh, examination system. So in this video tutorial, uh, we are uh, in the previous video tutorial, you have to see in some logic functions in uh, group list info, get all, add sync methods. And today I'm going to show you get all students uh, in which uh, I will get uh, all the students by using generic repository and in which you can pass a students class by to get all and return students there is the simple thing you can do in uh, get all students uh, method so i log error uh, i logger message with the generate log um, error message and also return uh, in enumerable a uh, list of student i want to say that uh, return so enumerable dot empty students and empty students that you will uh, to return okay now a generic repository uh, try async method you can say uh, no it's actually it's, it's a method so uh, after that you can uh, do with update async that is a previously video uh, in the previous video tutorial uh, i have skipped that uh, thing at here so just complete it in this video tutorial so object dot uh, update async i mean to say that you you want to update your student with the student view model so student view model uh, so student, first of all get the students by using generic repository by their id property so uh, in the vm.id we have so name username picture file name cv file name uh, cv file name vm.cv file name is uh, not equals to null if it is not null then vmc file name is assigned to the cv file name otherwise if it is null then object.cv file name is assigned okay so object.contact equals to vm.contacts await and what await is unit of work dot generic repository i want to uh, uh, single student i want to update so using generic repository you have to update the students dot update async method in which you can pass object so unit of work and uh, you can add async method because you you have use uh, ob uh, await keyword at here so return uh, a vm vm model so vm at here so uh, update async is clear so all these methods are clear i think now just go to the section of uh, i account uh, service so account service we have some unimplemented methods so just uh, in the login view mode uh, in the login method uh, we, we have a login view model so first of all check the uh, in the login we have to check the role uh, in project we have three roles teacher uh, admin and the student so vm dot role is double equals to enum role dot admin or vm dot role is double equals to integer uh, id i mean to say that so enum roles dot teacher okay if both are if anyone is there so so variable uh, first of all get a user uh, by using unit of work dot generic repository in which you can pass users and users is a dot get all method you can say so all these users and get oops actually users is actually method so uh, dot get all so all these users according to their roles and dot oops first dot default i'm uh, just i'm to I'm going to set so actually a link is not there so just dot first or default first of all type and uh, rem uh, naming spaces is removed by using control dot symbol a dot username is double equals to where the username is exist vm dot username and uh, also the username is trim if it is any spaces in between in the last and the before and a dot password is double equals to vm dot password also trim the passwords if any gap in between uh, first and last and a dot role 
so the single user you have to get by using the square so in this uh, by using this query okay so if user is not equals to null if user is not equals to null i mean to say that teacher and the admin is there so vm dot id equals to user dot id and return vm so just i want to uh, return the vm actually with the with their id property okay so in the else method if uh, if your not is admin and not an uh, teacher i mean to say that a student so where is student you you have to get by using you know work dot generic repository and in which you can pass users also so in which you can pass the students instead of uh, users so all these students are get by using their get all methods so first of all first or default and by their id property sorry uh oops a in the next time i will use x instead of a so username the same thing you have to return with the student so username dot trim and a dot password is double equals to vm dot password okay also use the trim okay so now student is not equals to null you have to check if a student is there so if the student is there also return the id property of the student so vm dot id equals to in which you can pass a student id so student dot id similarly in with the user dot id so return what vm that is the basic thing behind the login view model okay so that is the simple thing in the service if nothing is there then return null so so in the login view model you have to check all these things so go to the next model that is the get all teachers in get all teachers i want to say that uh, written actually a page list of the students so page number page uh, size is mentioned in the user view model so user list is uh, mentioned in the user view model so first of all uh, create a uh, new uh, object uh, for the user view model so in uh, integer exclude records page size multiply by the page number minus page size that is the exclude record and list of users user view model sorry and detail list create a detail list uh, create a list of users you can user view model so new list of user view model and where model list is actually exist in you know work dot generic repository and in which you can pass a list of users so, so dot get get all so all the users you have to get by using this query dot also use where extends to x dot roll is double equals to in diesel get all teachers you want uh, you, you want to get all the teachers so enum dot dot uh, enum role dot teachers dot skip exclude records dot take page size dot to list okay so according to the pagings you have to records uh, you have to get all the teachers so detail list oops dot equals to list info it's a type of method actually in which you can pass model list so in the later session i will uh, i will uh, arrange this method okay so if a detail list oops actually data list is uh, typed so just rename it first of all de 
instead of ta so detail list is not equals to null if detail list is not equals to null i mean to say that we have a list of user view model so in which you can assign model dot oops actually a user view model have a error so just resolve this problem first of all so um, create a constructor and after that we have to create a list of user uh, user list i want to uh, i want to increase a one more uh, properties in the user view model so go to the definition user view model create a constructor and remove the pro uh, first of all uh, error and after that you have to create a new property that is the list of user list so uh, in list of actually list is not there so create a property user list and in which you can pass user view model a list of user view model you have to pass it so actually list is not there so just add the namespace system dot generic generic type of things okay so model dot user list in which you can pass model list so sorry detail list and model dot actually to count is uh, total count num uh, total number of count is not there in the uh, user view model so again create a new property total count by using this property you have to get all the teachers count uh, that is the number total number of student in the class so total number of teacher in the school and uh, any other institute so in which you can pass unit of work dot generic repository of users dot get all dot count x tends to oops x tends to role is double equals to teacher so enum integer enum roles dot teachers okay so by using this you have to get all the teachers and the property is there so actually uh, in the account service we have not a i logger uh, type of things so student service you can in which you can pass in the i logger message so i logger and both properties assigned in a constructor so just add this thing in the constructor so just remove first of all the default constructor and uh, select and quick action method removed first of all and assign the property you know to work and then i logger okay so just use i logger in get all teachers method in the exception generation so use i logger dot error message log error equals to ex dot message so, and after that you have to variable result in the paging list so result equals to new paged result and in which you can pass user view model okay and uh, data equals to model dot user list and uh, total uh, total items is model dot total count and the page size and page number page number equals to page number and the page size is oops page size uh, page size p is capital equals to page size oops actually swami colon is uh, there in the in just above uh, statements oops the page size is there you have to check uh, remove the semicolon and use the comma so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other remaining videos which is related to asp.net core this project is waiting for you and learn many more things about asp.net core thank you very much